Chapter 5 Duff the Goat was not part goat and part boy. That would have been interesting, but Duff was just a boy who took care of goats. He quite liked goats. They had honey-brown eyes. They had floppy ears. They made snuffling noises. Duff did not like goat-eating monsters. A blue arm reached out of the hole. Not another one, said Duff. He picked up his crook. A big blue monster emerged. He was really big. The monster roared. It was loud. Duff dropped his crook. His knees shook. <sighs> Help, he croaked. In the distance, a pony neighed. Chapter 6 The princess in black galloped into the goat pasture. A big blue monster was holding a goat in each paw. It opened its mouth as wide as it would go, which was very wide. Not so fast, said the princess in black. Blackie galloped toward the big tree. The princess in black grabbed a branch. She swung from her pony's back. She landed in the tree. Why did you come here? asked the princess in black. Eat goats, said the big blue monster. You may not eat the goats, she said. Eat goats, hollered the big blue monster. You may not eat the goats, she said again. Behave, beast. The big blue monster set down the goats near a small tree. It tore the tree from the ground. The princess in black did a backflip onto the grass. She pushed a switch on her scepter. It turned into a staff. The big blue monster roared and swung the tree. The staff met it. Sparkle slam! The princess in black and the big blue monster wag waged battle. Princess pounce! Blackie buck! Hornswoggle hop! Twinkle twinkle little smash! With luck, the battle would be quick. Duchess Wig Tower was in Princess Magnolia's castle. Her castle was full of secrets, especially the broom closet. The princess in black hoped the duchess would not snoop. <laughs>